Go to the Tools panel, select any of the shapes. I'm going to go with Star, drag, and set the fill to nil. Set the stroke to black, and also set the stroke width. I'm going with like 14 points. And you can see it's applied to the entire design. Set the number of points. Go to Convert to Curves. Go to the Node tool, and now you can see all of the nodes. Select all of the nodes by using that tool. Go up to the action and break curve. As soon as you do that, you can see all of the different parts of the design become curved. So if I select that one, you can see now you've just got that selected. If I select that one, you can see that selected and so on. So what you can do, you can see you've got now a very rough design here. You can select all of the curves and go over to the stroke width and change the width and that will change for all of them. Also you can go down to pressure and change the pressure and as you do that it will change across the entire design and it's repeated for each part of that curve. But it gives a much rougher sort of more hand-drawn look than before. Now if you want to change individual ones, no tool and select different parts of the design, say that part and go up to again stroke width here and then change the pressure individually and you can see that change so they're not all the same unless you want that of course you can also do the same with a doodle design go over to the node tool select all of the nodes go up to the action and break curve you can see now in the layers panel all of the curves you can modify them all simply go for stroke width and again change that and you can see they all vary and you can also change the pressure you can also go over to the layers panel and select an individual curve or multiple curves. Go up to the stroke width and then 22, maybe going to 6 or 5. You can also change the colour. Go to the stroke and turn it to red or green or blue, etc. Well, I think this is a quite a quick and easy way of creating a hand-drawn sketched effect. Obviously, you could always go to the brush tools and quickly draw it out and all those sort of things. But this is a nice sort of instant effect. Something near enough you probably even could, and I haven't tried it, create a macro with. But unless, of course, Infinity Photo comes out with a wonderful sketch tool feature, which I would love, I suspect this is probably one better. But if you've got, like, say, better approach, Please let me know in the comments. Always great to hear sort of how other, and also how would you possibly use this? I mean, I think it's just lovely to be able to create sort of rough drawings. I, I like doing that with my designs. I don't like it to be real super sharp vectors. I do like a little bit of hand-drawn feel to it. And I think this breaking the curve apart gives even a special touch. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. A dislike or like is also appreciated. Thank you much.